welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more today's topic is epstein pearls and bonds nodules they are seen commonly in newborns oral cavity as some cystic lesions and it oftenly mistaken as neonatal teeth but actually it is not neonatal teeth so let's move on to epstein pearls they are keratin filled cystic lesions which are seen on mid palatal raphe at the junction of soft and hard palate so they are keratin filled cystic lesions mostly seen on the mid palatine raphe and there is no mucous gland and which is lined by stratified squamous epithelium but whereas bones nodules which are remnants of salivary gland on buccal and lingual mucosa or hard palate away from the raphe epstein pearls are exactly at the midline raphe this is away from raphe but seen on buccal and lingual mucosa and which is mostly seen on labial aspect of upper alveolar ridge the epstein pearls are 1 to 3 mm size and why this is happening it is because of the epithelial tissues trapped between the palate during fusion so palatal fusion soft and hard palatal fusion so the epithelial tissue get entrapped and it becomes a cystic lesion mostly the stratified squamous epithelium lined lesions but this is uh, salivary glands remnants which is present on buccal or lingual mucosa and which is seen as grayish white and multiple in nature and it is commonly mucous gland cyst this is keratin filled cyst and in both the cases there is no treatment required mostly it will disappear within one or two weeks so this is a uh, self corrected uh, lesions uh, and it oftenly mistaken as neonatal teeth so that is epstein pearls and bonds nodules epstein pearls there is no mucous gland this is salivary glands and this is in a uh, palate exactly at the midline raphe soft and hard palate junction this is on the labial aspect of upper alveolar ridge or labial or lingual mucosa or even hard palate but away from the raphe and this is lined by stratified squamous epithelium this is mucous gland cyst in both the cases there is no requirement of treatment and epstein pearls mostly disappear within one to two weeks of birth and this is also self correcting nodules so both are identified and reported by these people that is epstein and mr bond and it often be mistaken as neonatal teeth that's all about epstein pearls and bonds nodules the cystic lesion which are seen within uh, newborns gum pads newborns palates or oral cavity and often be mistaken as neonatal teeth neonatal teeth are the teeth which are present within 30 days and natal teeth which are present during birth so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you